Hello world, it's Friday night and I need a date. Oh my god, we're off to a great start, that's the wrong screen now. I could just as easily start recording over again. Because this is the beginning, it doesn't matter, but you know what? That's life, sometimes you go to the wrong screen. And sometimes you're wearing headphones even though uh, they're slightly uncomfortable, but it helps with the sound quality. Speaking of sound quality, uh... An apology for the last video because, like I said, I was still kind of getting back into the groove of things and trying to figure some settings out and whatnot. Now I've got it all figured out. Of course, I found out what was wrong, you know, almost immediately after I had made the last video. But we got it sorted out. I, I, I'm sorry about that last video. You'll actually be able to hear me this time and the sound won't be incredibly, incredibly loud. With that in mind, with that said... Let's just continue. Let's get right into it. I know nothing about the game that we are going to be playing today, except for that it is what popped up in Google when I searched for free dating game. I think that's what I searched for. But yeah, general terms, it's just what popped up. I've seen nothing about it. It's just free, and I downloaded it, and now we're going to play it. It's called Hot Date. And so, let us play the video game. We're gonna go on a hot date. At least that's what I that's what I assume, based on the title. Make sure that's working. Ooh, there we go. Excellent. Presenting an evening of romance by George Bachelor, with music by Levi Pack or Levi Pack. I once got a pack of Levi's. Hot date. Now, I do not believe that the man who named this, his last name is actually Bachelor. That's... If it is, this was definitely his calling. So, from what I understand, I hit enter, we can type stuff in, and that's about all I know about this game. So, let's enter this hot date. Oh shit, it's a dog. My name's George. Hey wait, your name's George? You mean like, like the creator of this game? Uh, what is... <laughs> Alright, so let's take a m moment to appreciate the scene. We uh, are apparently... I don't know if we're a dog, or if we're just um, into some really kinky and illegal shit. But, what I do know is that we got this sweet clock up in the uh, up here, which is actually moving. That's a nice touch. We got a name card with nothing written on it. That's cool. We got these hella romantic candles in the most disappointing menorah ever. Menorah? Yeah. And a banner that says, well, it's among other things that I can't see, it definitely says dating. What is our name? Our name is Starf. That's weird. My, that's my cat's name. Little Starf. You're a dog who owns a cat? That's weird. Ooh, we got options. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Yo. I feel like at this point, since we've exchanged names already and started talking, saying yo might be a little strange. You look lovely. Uh-oh. Tell me a bit about yourself. It's not that I'm having a bad time. I just wish I was dead. Whoa! That's like... I feel like we're connecting on a spiritual level here, George. Even though you're a dog. And honestly... Because I'm assuming that I'm playing as me, as a person, I'm gonna go with uh-oh, because I did not expect to be dating a dog here. <laughs> get with the talking, or I'll get with the walking. Can we just sit here the whole time? Will George leave? Am I supposed to be playing a female? I do not know these things. I wanna see what happens if I just sit here. Because I'm very concerned. I feel like maybe I'm just wasting all of our time. I'm wasting George's time. I'm certainly wasting my own time. I'm wasting all of your time by not interacting with the video game. We're gonna give it until the clock passes, you know, the top. The 12. And we're gonna see what happens. Oh! Okay. I did not realize that this was a valid strategy in dating. 
this would be a good point to use the uh-oh option. And if another prompt does not pop up, that's exactly what I plan to do. You're one cool cat, dog. Time's up. Oh shit, that's what the- that's it, that's it. That's the time. Okay, now we got it. So I, I can say, see ya, I had a great time, I never want to see you again, or let's meet up again. I see no reason not to just continue sitting here. You know, we played it cool up to this point. What what a very interactive and immersive video game. I think it's now just looping. I'm just you know what? I sat here. I had a great time. And also, I never want to see you again. Sorry. <laughs> yes, actually it was. Oh, hey, we're okay, we're in another date. Here we go. I'm Petunia. What's your dumb name? My, hey, Petunia, your name's dumb. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> That's cute. Hey, fuck you. Uh oh. I was about to say the exact same thing. Yeah? Yeah? That, that, Alright. That's weird. So apparently, the fact that we have now expressed concern for dating a dog. You know, go with it. We're gonna roll with it. Do you live around here? Whose house... Like, wh where do you like to run around? No! Stop that! I don't... I, I missed that. Our do would have what? The hell is going on? What? The only option that makes sense to me right now. What? Oh! They're prompts. They are prompts. Yeah, sometimes I also break out into nervous laughter for no reason. Alright, so what are we gonna do? Well, let's, let's stick with what. That I think that was a good place to start. I, I wish I could just say what. What do you do for fun? What is? What would your superhero power be? What annoys you? What are you afraid of? What is your favorite? What is your favorite German loan word? Uh-oh. Hey. What is your ideal starting Pokemon? Seems appropriate for Pokemon Go being out now. I've always gone for Bulbasaur. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if that's a... Uh, I don't know if we're really compatible. I'm more of a Charmander kind of guy. You're just as bad as Gary. It's the only way to go. Screw you and screw Professor Oak. <laughs> nah, fuck you, Gary. You won't be saying that when I'm standing atop the fallen corpses of the Elite Four. Damn, that's metal! Damn! Yo, are you a fan of Lil John? This is always my second question on a date. I want you to know that I'm disgusted by that question. I really don't care about turning things down for what. Ooh, would you like to hear a joke, though? Would I? Would no? Jeez, you are a wet blanket. We're gonna tell it anyway. Yeah, how do you like that? Oh, let's see. An investigator? A mountain? Silent P? Oh, shit. Well... I hate Petunia. I never want to see Petunia again. Despite the fact that she's a dog. <laughs> yeah, you get the fuck out. How about that? Ugh, whatever, Neil. Jeez. Do you all have the same personality? What's wrong with you? God, at this point my name is just Apathy. It might as well be. Nah, she didn't. I did, right now. So, get on with it. Tell me about yourself, if that's what we're doing here, apparently. Yeah, I gathered. In Aries, huh? Ooh. Alright. Cool. Yeah, that's about it. Neil is amazing at French kissing, and, uh, 
loves the Backstreet Boys, and what is the purpose of this game? Do we just do this continually until we get bored? Are we just exploring text options? Is that is that what we're doing? Is there an end goal? All right, Neil. Where where does a dog work? No, I did it wrong. Shit. Salford, raised by wolves, raised by devils. These are the most metal dogs I've ever met. Would you like to see my collection of denim jackets? Of course, always a good icebreaker. What do you mean, no? Neil, I feel like you don't enjoy the finer things in life, like denim jackets. <sighs> It'll be a barrel of lols! Excellent, we did it. We're gonna go get that barrel of lols. Oh, come on! Ha ha ha! See? I knew it! I knew the barrel of lols would be opened. Shut up, Neil. Can I get a shut up, Neil option? Psh. Hmm. Let's try to tell a joke again. Oh, shit, we're almost out of time. Okay, why can't the bike stand on its own? Why did the orange stop running? Ran out of juice? Me too, Neil. Me too. And I'm the one that told it, allegedly. Are you someone who likes to play darts? The important, the hard-hitting questions. Interesting. Getting to Neil's insecurities, and we're out of time. Shut up, Neil. I never want to see you again. Yes, it was. Lemons. Shit. I'm limes. I feel like we were meant for each other. Oh my god, you look lovely. Ha ha ha. Oh, lemons. Oh, lemons, what do you do for work? Oh shit. I've been duped. Lemons got me with the zinger. Are you local? It would be strange if you showed up to speed dating and you weren't local. Lemons doesn't know where they are. Lemons, what is your favorite German loan word? Now, what is your favorite prime number? I need to know. Ooh, 239. Three digits. Look at that. Do you like me? Do you like me, Lemons? I mean, <laughs> I mean, have you ever thought about changing your name to John? Yeah, I can repeat the question. No, I'm just kidding. I can't. Wait, no, there it is. Yes. You asked me to repeat it, don't yawn. Lemons, we had such good chemistry. What happened? What happened? No, I want... It's not what... I feel like I'm trapped in a box where I can't say what I need to say to Lemons! Lemons! What is your favorite deity? Oh. Okay. Alright, we're back in. Things are going smoothly. Lemons. Would you ever travel back in time? Never back, only forward. Lemons? Lemons wants to see the future. Lemons got plans. That's... You know what? That's deep. Lemons, are you a fan of 
recent episodes of The Simpsons. Ooh, this could be a real division right here in our in our budding relationship. Please. Oh god, lemons. I mean, that's I, I guess it means you don't like the new Simpsons episodes, but you you're taking it to a, a little bit of an excessive extreme. A simple I don't own a TV would have sufficed. But you know what, Lemons? Despite of all that, I had a great time. Lemons, your personality is as sour as your name. Alright, Doris. Uh, my name... <laughs> my name... That's not backwards. My name is Cyrod. I bet it is. Yo. That's fair. That's fair. This this doesn't really make sense. Yes. Ex excellent. This is going well. Would you like to see my collection? Now that we've introduced each other, would you like to see my collection of newts? Why do you waste your time with that junk? You just said you don't know street talk. I feel like Doris has lied to me. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm positive. I mean, not a body. Certainly not that. What annoys you, Doris? Except... Flim flammery? Underly ripe fruits? Questions? The unpopularity of flares? Happy endings. Whew! Well then you are not going to be annoyed tonight, Doris. Because you are unpleasant. Are you familiar with a bow and arrow? Oh, the economic implications of the Bitcoin. Topical, I think. A couple years ago. You cretin! No way, dude. Bitcoins ain't me, man. It just ain't. I mean, do you believe in minotaurs? Never known any reason not to. That's fair. That's fair. I agree. That's also fair. Do you have any special skills, Doris? What do you have to offer this relationship? Ooh, swing ball. What the hell is that? I, sh I really should have known. Wow, so so wow, so impressive. Steady on. Would you live... Oh. Would you live in space? I would. No. How exactly do you come this close to living in space? I got in the cannon, but then I just rethought of it. Ah, uh, well, I feel like I might be running out of time for speed dating, so I'm just going to settle on Doris. Can we meet up again? Oh, yes. It's it's it worked out. All right, Ethan. All right, Ethan, that's enough. Oh, hot data stopped working. What have we learned? Well, we've learned that most, mostly pugs apparently are very depressed angry, apathetic, annoyed, irritable, and generally bad at speed dating. We've also learned that given the limited options of uh, dialogue from a game developer, we're going to ask some really fucking weird shit. And we as a character are very strange and collect denim jackets. 
Why not? Gotta collect something, right? As far as the game goes, not much to it. Just an exercise in opening some dialogue options and going, well, that's weird. Until it ends and you just repeat the cycle. It doesn't appear, to my knowledge, that there was any progressing of that game. It was just, here you go. Here's a dog. I don't know why it had to be a dog. I guess it just makes it funnier. Were we a dog? We never found out. I'm, I'm done with it, though. I don't know if there's anything else that game has to offer. Certainly, we could have went through, you know, exhausting all of the speech options, but... That would just get tedious. Just like in real life, in real speed dating, who wants to sit there and go through all the options over and over and over again? Just find someone you like, ask them on a date, don't bother with talking to a bunch of pugs for two minutes at a time. It's exhausting. And you know what? If your name is Lemons, fuck you, Lemons. That's all I gotta say. Well, this has been another thrilling episode of I Need a Date. Hopefully, I'll be back on a more regular schedule doing these things. Hopefully, we'll get some more interesting games. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Until next time, I've been Starf. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.